Hello everybody, I'm Opeka and welcome back to Let's Play Plague of Shadows The Shovel Knight Side Trilogy Or whatever the fuck you would call it So I always started with Spectre Knight Especially in my Shovel Knight um, gameplay Playthrough, whatever the fuck you want to call it But I'm gonna start with King Knight this time Let's go to King Knight Time for research Ah, this music Secret If you want to call it a secret of course, if you're familiar with Shovel Knight, if you're actually a fan of Shovel Knight, you're probably already finished playing this game. I probably would have beat this game day one if I've not been Let's Playing it. And by that I mean, since I'm doing voices, it hurts my fucking voice, and I gotta take breaks and drink a fuck ton of water. Otherwise, my voice just goes away. And then I'll be something like Oolong. But look, that's a nice little secret. At least I think so. I mean, if I were a developer, I would probably do something like that. Honestly, if I were a developer, I would, um... What's the word? I would be a dick and make one of the save points a really hard battle. Because I've never seen that ever happen in a video game. There's, there's, There are enemies in RPGs called Mimics, where they're just fake treasures or enemy in a box if you want to go with that. Me? Nah, I would go with the save point. Because a lot- of, I don't know, I just- I just want to be a dick about it. Although I don't- I don't think I would put it in a spot where it'd be like very, um... What's the word? Like, if people really need the healing, I would put it somewhere in between. Or I'd try to make it not so obvious as well, though. Falling pot of lava. So I'm wondering what the Plague Knight level is gonna be. Like, am I gonna be- you know, fighting... Well, who the fuck am I gonna be fighting? Black Knight? I mean, Plague Knight's level is, um... It's one of the last three. Actually... It's actually the next batch, I believe. It's during, um... Treasure Knight and... I think... Mole Knight. Oh, these rats. I want one of these freaking propeller rats. And that's what I meant by the sliding momentum thing. That's how I got hurt. Oh, well, I got a bunch of life. And I like how it's alchemically based. Alright, uh... Right now would be a good time to try out the new arcing. Standard fuse buzz after a few moments. So, how do I... Equip it, though? Okay, I guess it's just... I guess it, 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 um... Okay, now I understand this. I'm... I'm learning as I go... Like, I'm doing this blind. I'm learning this as I go. So, black powder causes a powerful explosion, 3 bomb max, so that means I can use this 3 times, and with this upgrade, it, you know, makes it explode after a while. So now I can actually throw these, so I can throw 3 max, before I have to wait for a little, like, a little mini cooldown. So, I actually just understood that, so... Makes sense. Alright, this arc's gonna be rather useful. I can think of a few bosses I can't duck. You never could- well, actually, you could duck with Shovel Knight, kind of. And I'm gonna get hurt. Uh, you kind of could duck with Shovel Knight, like... It barely counted. I wanna say, um... He does a little squat. Oh, he's doing it right now, too. Okay. So, Shovel Knight had his little squat. Plague Knight has it, too. Dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun. That's about it. If you can call that a duck, I really can't call that a duck. Anyways, I'm familiar with these stages, so I... Other than Mole Knight and maybe... And maybe, maybe, maybe Tinker Knight, I don't think I'll need these continues. I'm confident in my abilities, and it's kind of cool how the wall chicken... Or just chicken in general, gives you a, uh... It heals you... For... The extra... Oh, and he gets flinched. For the extra, um... Health he got from that potion, so that's kind of cool. I wonder if they stack, or is there just like a finite amount of health upgrades? So this is where this comes in. Or it should be a little bit quicker. I'm pretty sure on the DS it's a lot quicker. Or the Wii U. Since that's the that's the only benefit I can see from the DS or the Wii U. Cause I, well, actually the DS. I never really play the Wii U version. I only play the, D, the 3DS version. Wow, I touched that. It was a sliding momentum that killed me. Alright, let's get rid of that out of the way. So I died to a nice physic. Um, you know, his slide, that slide. I died to that. At least I think so. I mean, editing me will probably find out. But I, that's what I believe right now at the moment. 
But that's actually interesting. I mean, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna die. I should be fine. That's the only, re that's the only way I died, is just because I forgot about the sliding mechanic. Which is how I got hurt with the lava, too, but whatever. Complainers get nowhere in life. Unless they're rich. But, dad! Alright. I'm getting used to the momentum thing. So uh, that's not a fake wall? I'm actually gonna be switching to the menu a lot, so that's interesting. Oh, hello! I would honestly would never expect it to want for one to be there. Wow. Now I gotta hit it all the dust cubes, I guess? Dust cubes? Sand cubes. Dust would be a little bit more gray. Alright. So is that Chester in there? Do I still talk to Chester? Is it a lady Chester? I would like to talk to a lady Chester. That should be. I was wrong. I died. Nah, I'm kidding. Obviously. Oh, the flame. Well, the flame wand. Hey, did they call it rot? Anyways, a one, a worthless relic. Maybe someone else would want this rubbish. I'm wondering if like, Shovel Knight goes in. He's like, hey man, Chester, what the fuck? Oh, someone else took it, man. Hey, do you want this ice rod? Sure, why the fuck not? And that's how Shovel Knight got the ice rod. Buy the ice rod DLC now. And pre-order power to the players. Cause fucking GameStop, yo. Ah, crap. I can't get up there again. Nope. I'm gonna go back over there. You know, I can see people speedrunning a lot easier with Plague Knight than uh, anyone else, honestly. I mean, speedrunning with Shovel Knight was kind of difficult, kind of. But honestly, I, <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna be difficult with Plague Knight, but I think it's gonna be a lot easier with that jump he has. But yeah. There was nothing there, there was nothing over there, but I'm like, I just want to make sure. Could have been a coin for all I know. Alright. You take a lot more hits than I think Shovel Knight would. Stop comparing me to Shovel Knight! I'm my own person. Yes, you are, Plague Knight. Yes, you are. So I actually could get up there. That's a, that's a lot of jumping distance. If you think about it, like, there's no way Shovel Knight could ever make it, but Plague Knight just does it easily. Plague Knight does, but Shovel Knight don't. So I wonder if I can go in here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. I guess I didn't need to do that, but whatever. There's one in here. I know it. I guess not. I guess I don't know shit at all. Alright, so Chester's in here. Poured in a beaker or stuffed in a bag? Chester's always got the swag! Hey, nice relic, pal. You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. A big boom. A potent explosion with a far-reaching radius. And then this motherfucker sells it to Shovel Knight. Chester, you are a bona fide merchant. Alright, big boom. Hold up on a d-pad and press square. I mean, triangle. No, square. Why did I say triangle? Whatever. A potent explosion with the far-reaching radius. Interesting. So this is my sub-weapon. Let's check it out. That takes half my power. Oh, it's natural region. That is cool. I wonder how big the explosion is, though. Yeah, yeah, I am the shovel. That takes the night dog. <laughs> it's just hilarious to look at. Why is this game so fun? It's so much fun playing it with Plague Knight, though. I just love his explosion jump. Okay, there's a reason why I like his explosion jump, and I will say so as soon as I kill this dude. It reminds me of Flash Jump in Maple Story. Holy shit! Holy Cross! I'm not Richter Belmont, but Holy Cross! Um, in Maple Story there is a class called the Hermit, which is a, a divisionary from the Thief class, so it goes it goes Hermit, Assassin, I mean, it goes Thief, Assassin, Hermit, and they have a skill called Flash Up, and I always love that skill. Eventually, Chief Bandits, which are another divisionary from the Thief class, which goes into 
Thief, Bandit, Chief Bandit. They finally got it after a long ass time. Well, after I quit, honestly, and I just love playing that skill. I mean, I just love using that skill. I would always ask my friend, hey, can I just log on your account? He's like, well, for, uh, I just want to flash jump around. Like, what, really? And I'm like, yeah, really? Shit's fun. And I can relive it here for free with the Plague Knight DLC. Oh, even the explosion jump breaks this up. That's kind of cool. I'm getting a lot of swag. As Chester would say. Alright, I'm assuming I can make the jump up here, but let's find out. I guess it makes sense for um, Plague Knight to have the, um, the the bouncing explosion thing. This. The only reason I say that is because... Yeah, I could make it. It's because Shelvin and I did have like a little jump when he did his, st his stop down thing. Well, he can't reach you up here. Ah, oh, I didn't reach it in time. Oh well. You're an easy kill. I am hurting you, right? I was always supposed to hurt your head. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have to kill you. I'm fucking Plague Knight. So, I have a Holy Cross Bomb. Ooh, I even got all three. Actually, this is an achievement here that I used. You have to kill, like, a bunch of enemies with the Warhorn on, on Shovel Knight. This is where I did it. I don't know where anyone- or I don't know where, like, people were told to do it, but I did it here. I just lured all the rats. I used the phase locket and I just baited them all here and I just did the Warhorn. Really easy, must I, I must add. And say, and do. God, I love those rats. Someone make me a plush and send it to me, I'll pay you. Not a lot, but I'll pay you. Ah. Uh, wait a minute, let me make sure. Oh, it does count as a charge. I don't get the little uh, mini air jump from it, the counts as a jump. I like how these things lob F. So I can actually use a bouncing momentum on this. Well, of course it's not gonna reach, but whatever. It's good to know. King Knight stage? His music? I'm, I'm kind of conflicted. I like, I like it. But then I get tired of it after like a few loops. I'm almost there, honestly. Plague Knights, on the other hand, I fucking love. I just, uh, I love it so much, especially when you fight them. I always like it when boss teams just turn, um, well, boss teams in general, they're like pretty much like the stage theme or battle theme. They're just more, uh, added with a lot more strife into it or a lot is on the line. Which is pretty much Shovel Knight bosses. They're like, oh, you're listening to their bot, their theme. And then from there, it's just like more... I guess you could say... Tension in between. So like, music becomes more tension. Kind of like, uh, I want to... The only way I can uh, describe it best too is like Street Fighter. Uh, it's best way is Street Fighter 2. Um, when you're fighting Ryu on a Ryu stage and then he gets... any Anyone gets in high damage or low damage or low health rather. It's called high damage. The, the, the tracks, but I'm like, when you hit someone and they're on like in their last one-fourth of health, the, mu the music becomes more intense and faster tempo, is what I'm trying to get at. And I like how this game does it too. You fuck up here with Shovel Knight, you can never go up there again! Without restarting the whole stage, because he has no jumps. He is not Air Jordan like Plague Knight. Plague Knight wears Jordans. Alright, stage, the stage is about to come to an end. I'm surprised I'm taking so long, but there's like, the secrets are different. They're way different than... Shovel Knights. I'm actually, well I mean, some of the rooms are the same, but... The secrets are still there, I mean, some are changed, like the ladder where you fight, face the first knight in here. That was different. I wonder how bad I'm gonna need those books. Because Shovel Knight needed the books to show a bounce on them. Plague Knight. Plague Knight could just do this. Come to me, O oh faithful rat. There we go. <laughs> I love doing this. It's so much fun to me. 
And you can't have it. It's all my fun. Get your own. I don't even need that book. Ah, the cauldrons do not hurt me. Interesting. Oh, shit. Ah, oh. oh, crap. That's gonna be a long walk. Well, honestly, that didn't take me too long. It took me about a minute at most. Actually, I feel like there's a secret here, so might as well check. I guess not. Um, that was a dumb fuck up on my point. I figured the, the momentum was too much for me. I was trying to get that coin. And I ended up, like, instead of doing the neutral jump, or the neutral pop, I ended up doing a lunge forward, which kind of fucked me over. There we go. And the pots didn't help, but I can grab these. See? Not that bad. Oh, I didn't want to do that though. No! See, I learned you could get charged it while you're even still getting hurt. I actually got a little worried on that one though. It's okay, I'm gonna get hurt. There's chicken right there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Whatever. Let's see what's it. Ah, oh, they, they do disappear. I was like, man, nah, the potion's not gonna disappear. I'll take my sweetest time. Oh, hey, another one. All right. So before I fuck up, I wonder how much I can get. All right. So max is ten. All right. And there's just an extra stockpile. I feel. I have a feeling I have to kill you for one though. I guess not. Maybe the first one I ignored as it. I still ignored it on the way over here. Yeah, I should be fine. Especially with 10 health, 10 health points this early in the game. Yeah, I should definitely be fine. I never did King Knight's voice in the original. Alright. Plague Knight? You double-crossing Constable Crucibles! <laughs> Having fun in your little kingdom. <laughs> Sorry, I meant king, dumb. Oh, this lavish lifestyle is in my blood, peon. Bask in the glimmering grace of a true monarch. As the embodiment of opulence, I demand a tribute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have that isn't. I think I'll take that nice crown too. What have you, knave? As you would say, right, King Knight? Oh man, the explosion provides invulnerability. And is King Knight still doing his threat? No, it's only an explosion. Alright. Oof. I was trying to do that the whole time, but whatever. Invulnerability! Oh, stupid. What do you call them? What are they called? What are those things called? Confetti, there you go. Oh, damn, that lobbed me quite a bit. So, how many times did I get hit? Did I die? Holy shit, he's poisoned as fuck. And I took his soul and crown. Looking at the health, I was at my last health. If I had not used the potions. But goddamn, that was actually kind of cinematic in a way. And it works me back here. Interesting. Drop the essence into my dynamo decanter here. Essences are volatile, but my breakthrough design stabilizes them. Once the essences are all distilled together, if my research is correct, then we can craft the ultimate potion. King Knight's essence is ours, and I discovered that his crown isn't real gold. Ha ha ha. I knew it. Pretender indeed. Well, let's get down to business then. So, what are we working on? Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cypher coins for materials. I'm not gonna read that anymore. Yup, that'll do it. Okay, stand back as I test my hypotheses.
take a gander at your new arsenal. Okay. New case and fuse and powder. So now I know how powders work. So producing while climbing flames, but I can only throw two, I can only throw one. Produces waves of fire in both directions and keep throwing in bombs to make a bigger boot. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. The fuses hovers in place before seeking out targets. Interesting. Blows up almost immediately when thrown. And the burst, new burst. Fires a blast in front of you, launching in front of you when launching. Huh. I'm gonna get all the blast ones, because the blast one seems like the most fun. And I guess the case floats up and throws. Floats up and away when thrown. Interesting. Hmm. Let's grab this. And this. This kind of brings me back to um, the Metroid games where you can just mix and match the weapons, but yeah. Component powder, so this one keeps throwing to make bombs bigger. a uh, bigger boom. So I wonder how these will mix up, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, I see. Alright, let me see if I can time it. Ah, interesting. And they do have a little, uh... Actually, the fuse seems a little bit more... About the same as the old one. Almost immediately went through. Okay, it's a little bit shorter. I can... I can't see myself using this powder, honestly. But it's better than the default one, I guess. I mean, if I hit him, I hit him, right? Check out the bullet burst. Ah, okay, that's interesting. And the explosion does not count towards this. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. And it works the same as the basic one, so... I see no reason to not use it. These are my accessories that I get throughout the game! Oh, interesting. This could actually use this could actually prove useful in um some boss battles. Uh, I can only think of Polar Knight right now. Maybe maybe Treasure Knight. Let's add Okay. Interesting. So this is what I was talking about with Metroid. So the arc. Let me switch real quick. Oh, did I get absorbed by it? It does get absorbed by it. Okay, that's interesting. Alright. So that's pretty much it for this part. I mean, we got I got some new toys playing around with them. I'm, I'm gonna actually stick with the default thing. Um, I mean, this seems fine to me. I was having a blast with it to begin with. I also got the Relic Keep. Use this Antiques. Trade those to Chester. Okay. And, yeah. So anyways, with that said, I don't think you ever joining me on this part of Let's Play Shovel Knight. Or, should I say, Plague of Shadows. <laughs> See you in the next part. Okay, thanks, bye.